Hi guys, let me show you how to use the Matrix and Vector Made Easy app, which uh, runs on handheld TI Inspire CAS models. It does not run on computer Inspire, on the com on the Inspire software on the computer. The app is uh, available at tiinspireapps.com. And uh, let me just uh, give you an overview. We can analyze matrices. We can perform operations on matrices. We have uh, more detailed applications in here for matrices. Of course, we can also analyze and do computations for vectors. So let's do a few specifics in order. First of all, how do you enter a matrix? Well, it's easily done. You just enter. Uh, the matrix in rows separated by a semicolon. So this would be the 1, 2, 3, 2 matrix, which is uh, when you scroll up all the way here. 1, 2, 3, 2. So you can see the transpose looks like this. Um, and then since you analyze A, you can find the norm, the column norm, the row norm, the co-matrix, the adjoint, the rank, um, the trace, this is very nice, the determinant also down here uh, to give you a quick idea about the matrix. But of course you can get all these answers also in step-by-step -step format. So you can also do the usual computation for two matrices, say you have to add or subtract two matrices. It's right, uh, it's done here for you step-by-step, -step. it shows you both matrices and uh, multiply a matrix by a constant coefficient or raise it, raise a matrix to a constant coefficient. You can check out the symmetry. Okay, let's do some operations on matrices. Row echelon. Still using the same matrix, one, two, three, four. Well, you can see uh, we have to multiply the first row by negative 3 and then add the second row to it in order to create a 0 on the bottom. And then in order to also create a 1 here on the diagonal, we just have to multiply the second row by negative 1 half and we get the 1s on the diagonal and 0 below. That's what the, um, what the row echelon procedure does. And then of course the reverse row echelon also creates zeros above the diagonal. So let's find um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Same matrix as before. Scroll up. We find the char characteristic polynomial right here and uh, solve it to get negative 1 and 4 which are our eigenvalues. And then, of course, we plug in each eigenvalue separately into uh, this matrix here. As you can see, the rank is not going to be full anymore. It's not rank 2, but rank 1. And solving this equation now yields the eigenvectors, which are of the format negative constant, positive constant, such as negative 1, 1, or negative 2, 2. Okay, same procedure when you plug in lambda equals 4, we get a matrix that is not, doesn't have full rank, rank 1, and that allows us to find the eigenvectors using uh, a constant in it, or 2 comma 3 is a eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda equals 4. All right. What else we got? Find the determinant, find uh, the inverse, the Gram-Schmidt procedure, of course, finds the orthonormal basis by normalizing the orthogonal basis. Okay, so everything is done step by step. Find your vector u2 and uh, you get your matrix. Each vector is orthogonal to each other. You normalize both
columns, both vectors, and then you arrive at your orthonormal basis. More applications. Solve AX equals B. Solve your A matrix, solve your, I mean, enter your A matrix, enter your B vector, do the reverse row echelon, and arrive at your answer 1 and 1, which is the right column here, 1, 1. Makes sense, because 1 and 2 makes 3, and 3 and 4 makes 7. Okay, you can also solve the same type of um, equation using a parameter. You can do the Kramer rule, you can do the Simpson algorithm, you can encode and decode messages. LU, lower and upper factorization. Done right here for you. So, the lower matrix turns out to be um, this, 1031. One. So we have a zero above the diagonal. And the upper matrix, U, is going to be 1, 2, 0, negative 2. You multiply those two matrices and you arrive at your A. Now this B shouldn't be here and it will not be here by the time you are using this app. Vectors. All in one vector explorer. Enter a vector such as 1, comma 2 and do out your steps and you get your length of the vector, you get a unit vector that's pointing in the same direction as the A vector, uh, the angle that the A vector makes up with the x-axis or express A vector in polar coordinates right here. You can do cross product, okay let's do it, 1, 2, 3 and negative 2, 1, 1 and you do everything step by step and you will get negative 1, negative 7 and 5 as a three-dimensional vector that is both perpendicular to A and B. And you can lastly also differentiate and integrate vectors. You enter any vector of your choice in terms of x and you get the derivative vector and the integral vector. All of this available in Matrix and Vector Made Easy app. This app um, is available at tinspireapps.com. Uh, you will always be eligible for free upgrades. We constantly upgrade our app and uh, you will enjoy the step-by-step -step features of it. Thanks for watching.